Hello, in this tutorial, we'll be implementing a Swift UI scroll view onto an image view in Xcode using the Swift programming language. Let's get started. Let's open Xcode. Implementing a scroll view allows us to pan an image and zoom in and out. We'll accomplish this through creating a project called iSpy. In our mini app, first let's create a new project. I'm using Xcode version 14. And make sure it's an iOS and you have chosen app. Click next. And let's choose a name for app. Let's name it iSpy. And make sure the interface is storyboard and the language is Swift. Once the app is created, head over to the main on the left. And now we can start implementing our scroll view. So let's add a scroll view. Click on the plus icon and search for scroll view. Let's drag it over here. Now let's resize it to cover the entirety of the safe area. We can do that by adding constraints. So we can make it zero on all sides. Let's add our four constraints. Now let's drag our scroll view to the safe area. So we can drag it to the bottom, top, left, and right. And to make sure, let's make sure our constraints are zero. Okay, that should be good. Now let's add our image view. So let's go over here and get the image view and let's add it as a sub view. So we can add it inside our scroll view. Now let's also pin this to the content layout guide so we'll basically go and do the same thing to, to make it match the scroll view. Now let's make sure our constraints are good. Zero, and then this one will be zero. Let's click on these two so these constraints will be added. And now we have added the constraints. Now let's add an image of our choosing to the assets folder. Now I'm adding an image to our assets. And then we're going to click finish. So let's make sure this is actually in our assets. So let's open the assets and let's drag this image here. Great, let's go back to our main. Now we can set the image of our image view to this picture. And then now I have made this scale to fill instead of aspect fit. Great, now we can start cutting. So I'll open the assets, um, our view controller file. So let's open our assistant. And now let's create outlets from our scroll view and our image view. So hold option, actually hold control, and drag it inside to create an outlet. We can name this scroll view. Let's connect it. And now let's add our image view as an outlet too. So let's hold control, let's drag it to our file. And let's name this image view, connect. And now for a scroll view to be able to be zoomable, we have to make it conform to the UI scroll view delegate. So let's just add it to our class here. Uh, so in our class declaration, we'll have the UI view controller and UI scroll view delegate. And now it also seems that we have added, um, I have added an additional amount of constraints. So let's fix that. So we remove this one. And then here, uh, let's remove the plus one. So we want it to be scroll view dot trailing. And here, let's remove this one. And let's make sure all of them are to the safe area at the top. And for here, we can remove the plus one here too. And that should be good. Let's rescale the image to fit. Yeah, that should be good. Um, let's update constraints, fix misplacement. Great. Now let's set the scroll view's delegate. So scroll view dot delegate to be the view control instance itself. So we can do self. Now let's implement a function called view for zooming. And inside here, let's return the image view we created. So we'll just do image view. Great. So what we have done so far is basically um, set the scroll views delegate to self that allows us to basically access the protocols within it. And here we're created a functional view for zooming. And basically we're gonna return the image when this will be called for now. Now let's create a new function called update zoom for. And then inside it, we'll have a size that will be the CG size. Now let's override the view did appear. And in the body, let's call our update zoom for function that we created. So the size will be view dot bounds dot size. Now inside our update zoom for function, let's create the scales. So let's let the width scale be equal to 
size.width and we'll divide that by image view dot bound dot size. Actually it's dot width. And then let me extend this a bit out. Close this part. Zoom in so it's much more easier. Okay, so now let's do the same thing, but we'll calculate the scale for our height. So we'll do height scale, and then we'll do the size dot height. And then we'll also do image view dot balance dot height. Now let's let scale be equal to the minimum of the width scale, comma height scale. So now we can set scroll view dot minimum zoom scale equal to our scale that we created. And then we can set the scroll view dot zoom scale also equal to the scale. Basically what the code does is that it first sets the scale of the width and height so we can show that in initially so it shows the whole image in the beginning. And then we also set the scale to be the minimum of the width and height so we can zoom out beyond that. So let's now, before we test it, let's make sure the image is a bit bigger so we can scroll around and view the image. So let's set this a bit bigger than our image view so we can see it scroll around. Okay, yeah, that should be good. And now let's run our app. So you can click run. So my app just built it, and now we can, to zoom, we can press option. So option, and since I'm on a computer, this is how you zoom in the image. And if you also wanted to move and move around, that's also possible. So that's it for today's video, and please make sure to subscribe.